pride that the white man had, this is why the Lord got to destroy him. The Lord got to destroy you from the pride of your heart, man. Why do, they, why do they don't call it gay love? They call it gay pride. You know why? Because that's exactly what it is. It's not love. It's pride. And pride comes before destruction. The Lord is going to destroy you because of your pride. We don't give a damn if you like it or not. The Lord said that if you are gay or homosexual, you will not inherit the kingdom of heaven. All my niggas ride for me. I got niggas that'll die for me. You niggas ain't built like that. You know how evil the white man is? Gay pride gets 30 days. It gets a whole month. And Independence Day gets one day. So you mean to tell me that independence is only worth one day, but the pride of the white man is worth a whole goddamn month? That's because the white man is the goddamn devil, and ye are, give me, J, give me John 8 and 44. Let me show you what the problem is. You are so prideful and big-headed that you don't understand that your pride, that pride comes before the fall. Right. Pride comes before destruction. And you are celebrating a whole month of your destruction. Right. Yeah. Read what you got. It's the book of John, chapter 8, verse 44. Ye are of your father, the devil. You know why you want to be confused? You know why you want to live life the way you want to do it? Because what? Ye are of your father, the devil. It ain't because you love the Lord. It ain't because God is in your heart. It's because you are following after who? The devil. The white man. You want to live like the white man. You want to be confused like the white man. You want to add. You want to adhere to the lifestyle that he permits. When you don't want to adhere to the lifestyle the Lord tells you to live, because you hate the Lord. So since you hate the Lord, then what? And the lust of your father, ye will do. All the lust of the white man. That's what you're gonna do. So what you're gonna do? You're gonna rape. You're gonna rob. You're gonna be homosexual. You're gonna steal. You're gonna molest. You're gonna be a pedophile. You're gonna be a drug addict. You're gonna be a drug seller. You're gonna do all the things the white man has taught you to do because what? He was a murderer from the beginning. And abode not in the truth. The white man ain't never followed the laws. The white man is the atheist on this earth. The white man hates the most high. Right. So now, what are you doing? You showing that you hate the most high too. If you want to come talk, come talk to me across the street. Don't talk to me from the bus stop. Come here, come talk. I like that. And yeah, I like I like me a I like a strong white woman. <laughs> Just like I like a strong black woman as well. I like a strong white woman to come over here and stand up to the men of the Lord. Because you know what does happen? White people are cowards. They are the type of people that throw rocks and hide their hands. Not this one, huh? Rick Flair. All right. What are you, um, Ricky, uh, Rick or Flair? Okay, let me ask you a question. Um, let me ask you a question. How do you feel about blacks, Hispanics, and Native Americans? Oh, you're colorblind. Okay, so if so if I snatch your purse and run, who you gonna say stole your purse? You gonna say, man, I couldn't see that color because I'm colorblind. Someone stole my purse, though. No, you're gonna say some black man with with braids stole my purse. Your colorblindness is gonna leave, and you're gonna get some color you in the eyes. Goddamn right. I'm going to say some white woman stole my necklace because white people steal land, they steal heritages, they steal every goddamn thing. So you should know that if something comes up stolen, it has to be from a white person. See, what we do is we profile people. I'm profiling you according to your ancestors. I'm, I'm profiling you the way you profile us. Big fact. You look at us and you lock the door. So you know what I do when I see a white person? I lock the door. Click it. Because you probably come in here and shoot me and steal my car and my wife and every goddamn thing because you are a goddamn wicked devil. Right. So let me ask you a question. Are you willing to apologize for the crimes of your ancestors? You think I'm on what? What's your father? I'm white. Is, is what is your father? My grandparents are Native American. What is your father's race? White. Thank you. Right. You understand? The white man contest. You know, your brother lets you know 
Stop trying to hide, devil. Stop trying to deceive this man. This man knows that you're a goddamn devil. You understand? Now, now why are you going to run? I thought we was having a dialogue. I thought we were talking. You're preaching. I'm not preaching. I'm talking to you. You just don't like how I talk. Because the only way you like a man to talk, you like him to be soft and, and effeminate. You understand? You don't know what the gospel is, Rick. Uh, come come uh -huh. holler at me. Come talk to me. Come talk to me. You know what? You know what's funny about the shirt he has on? It looks just like him. Hey. You understand? That shirt and his face are just congruent with each other. Hey. You understand? Everything about it is just a perfect blend because the white man is not white. He's the red man on this earth. Hey. His blood shows forth through his face. Skin. Right. And you know why the Lord made him red? Because the Lord told you, when you see him coming, stop. Right. Stay away. Right. What do you see? When you see red, what do you think? Danger. Right. Murderer. Killer. Right. Rapist. Right. Red means sin. Stop. Red means evil. Stop. The Lord made him red so you can look at him and know, get the hell away from him. Goddamn right. But what do you do? I want to love all people. And look where that got you. Now you at the bottom. Pride. Look at you. And this is what I'm talking about. This pride that the white man had, this is why the Lord got to destroy you. The Lord got to destroy you from the pride of your heart, man. Why do, they, why do they don't call it gay love? They call it gay pride. You know why? Because that's exactly what it is. It's not love. It's pride. And pride comes before destruction. The Lord is going to destroy you because of your pride. We don't give a damn if you like it or not. The Lord said that if you are gay or a homosexual, you will not inherit the kingdom of heaven. That's what the Bible says. Now, I don't care what your pastor say. I don't care what big mama say. I don't care they say, I'm going to love you in spite of. The Lord says you will not get the kingdom of heaven. That's right. That's what we come out here to teach. Right. We coming out here to teach the kingdom. That's right. We ain't coming out here to teach nothing else. And we want to let all y'all know that y'all are abominations to our father. But it ain't too late because you're breathing. That's right. You can change. You just give me uh, Romans one. You have to turn back from your reprobated mind. Right. Yeah. That's what it is. Your mind is reprobated. Your mind is fighting against the Lord. Right. Give me Romans one to twenty four. Oh sweet ways. This is the Bible we teach it. Your pastor teaches his feelings. He teaches whatever is good for the pockets. That's what he teach. You know what? I really think that if I speak against homosexuality, that's going to stop the money. That's going to stop my love offering. My love offering. You know what? I wouldn't be surprised if the pastor started a pride offering. Right. You understand? Read what you got. This is the book of Romans, chapter 1, verse 24. Wherefore God also gave them up to uncleanliness. The Lord gave you up to what? Uncleanliness. No, the righteousness. Uncleanliness. The pride of your heart is unclean to the Lord. And the Lord gave you up to uncleanliness. Read. Through the lust of their own heart. Through the lust of what? Their own heart. What's the lust he's talking about? your reprobate mind right you thinking that you can do whatever you want to do you can love whatever you want to love you can stick your rod wherever you want to stick your rod and and lick whatever box you want to lick well guess what the lord said he gave you up to a vile affection something that's disgusting to him right keep reading Colonel hey. to dishonor their own bodies. To do what? Dishonor their own body. No, to show their bodies love. Dishonor their own body. You're dishonoring yourself with your pride. Keep reading. Between themselves, who changed the truth of God into a lie? Now let's examine this. Who changed the truth of God into a lie? Who said it was okay to do this? Who said it's fine for you to love what you want to love and have sex what you want to have sex with? Let me tell you who changed it. The white man changed it. You know why he changed it? Because he is the devil the Bible speaks of. Read. Colonel Khan, and worship and serve the creature more than the creator. And this is what you're doing. You're worshiping the white man more than you are ser serving the Lord. That's what you're doing. You're giving yourself over to the white man and you are giving the Lord nothing because he does not love the way that you act. He don't love your pride. He hates it. Read. And who is blessed forever. Amen. For this cause, 
God gave them up unto vile affection, unto, lo unto love and peace and happiness. Vile affection. You loving uh, someone of your same gender is what the Bible calls what? Vile affection. It's disgusting love. And it's not even love, it's lust. Nasty. And it's demons that plague your mind to make you feel like it is what the Lord wants. And the Lord hates it. Read. For even their women did change the natural use into that which is against nature. Read the Bible. Read it again. For even their women did change the natural use into which is against nature. You see that? Our women has changed their natural use. What's the natural use of a woman? A woman is supposed to be with a man. But she changed her natural use. So now it is unnatural. That's what it is. Now it's some, now it's some whole different type of affection. Read. And likewise also the men. And not only will the women do it, but the men following along too. Now you got men out here. With dresses. Oh, you got men out here, they don't know what restroom to go to. You understand? You got men out here that, see, what you don't understand about your pride, you got all these alphabets, L, G, B, T, Q, R, S, R, L, M, N, O, P community. Well, guess what? In this community of all this stuff that you can do, back in the day, you know what it was called? It was called a mental issue. Right. That's what it was called. When you had these type of thoughts, you had you you got to go and take medicine. They put you in the in the crazy room for thinking that you are a woman that is now a man. So let me let me put it to you in in layman's terms. If I go to the doctor and I say, "Hey, give me four legs and a tail and a dog nose," because I'm no longer a man. I'm a I'm a I'm a rock waller. I'm not a man no more. Call me, call me Rocky. I'm a rock waller. What are you gonna say about me? You gonna say, man, that nigga crazy. Somebody need to lock him up, man. He gonna hurt somebody here. He gonna bite somebody. Well, guess what? How crazy you look. You six six, two fifty, all muscles, play football all your life. You wear size seventeen, and you walking around here talking about your name, Shaquita. You's a goddamn fool. That's right. You understand? That's how our people, that's what the white man that made you look like. The white man has made you a fool. Now you around here thinking that you a man and you are, and you are here thinking you a woman and you a goddamn man. The Lord then gave you a goddamn 12 inch rod and you walk around here trying to tuck it, tuck it all between your legs and hide it. Damn. Because you have vile affection and you have been deceived, man. And that's what the Bible is telling you. Read that again, huh? And likewise, also the men, leaving the natural use of the woman. Now, you I already told these niggas, you understand? I call up King Ty, he say, What's up? I say, What's good, my lord? Listen, he like, Listen. These niggas ain't ready for none of this, you understand? I said, listen, if the nigga ain't one west, he ain't got on his arm or his chest, I don't give a fuck about the nigga. It's just me and my niggas. We roll to him. I got the hammer, you running, man. Come through your window like brother man, brother man. Snapping your neck like a rubber band, rubber band. Talk to my dog like the sun is set oh, yeah. He told me murder you rappers Ooh, yeah. Uppercut sending you vertical actors Y'all got me coming with verbal attackers I might attack you type physical too So y'all be rhyming the way y'all be shining I'm blinding these rappers like Mr. Magoo These hey. haters miserable, we indivisible Look at these haters like they got no clue, no clue. Uh, They hold up ones in them W's Really bro, don't get too comfortable don't get If you ain't cut from the cloth, cause I'm out of Boston We do not fuck with you yeah. Cause you wouldn't last here I told you the same shit last year well, Keep talking that trash, I have a car, come kick your ass you in already know. Your jaw like glassware, we pull up, not rocking no mask there Don't care go. if you spot us, you know how you got us, it's over, you saying your last prayer Oi.